Hi everyone, I'm Isabel Coseiru. Um, I was the 2023 overall winner for the VAO Awards. Um, I am a current uh, junior in college and I am a figure painter based in Boston. So first one is, have you got three top tips for applying to art prizes? Yes, I do. Um, I think that my most important thing would be the spreadsheets that I have. I say, I would say keep a spreadsheet. I have a spreadsheet with like all of these art prizes that I find online and I just kind of organize it by like the name of the art prize, what kind of prize you would be winning, what you need to, you know, use to fill out the application and then the link. And I have like, I've just been filling it up for like years now and it's super helpful to keep me organized um, and just keep me accountable. And I can track on there also like what I won, what I didn't win. So it's really nice. I think um, the second thing that I have is um, definitely budget, like have a an artist's budget dedicated to like your art prizes. Um, I, you know, once a year I decide like I'm gonna spend X amount on entries this year. And then I, you know, obviously will use the budget and use it wisely and decide what I'm going to apply to. Um, and the third thing that I think is the most important is like be confident about submitting things. I think the the number one thing that I think all the time is like, just do it. Because if you didn't, then you have no shot of winning. But like, if you just put your stuff out there, I have so many friends that are so, uh, they're so scared to like even submit anything because they're like, oh, I don't like it. It's not that great. It's like, just submit it anyways, you know, be confident and, you know, the rest will come. So our next question is, why is it important for artists to apply to art prizes? I think art prizes are a real confidence booster. I mean, that's like, obviously it's a resume builder. It's very important for, you know, credibility and stuff. So it's, you know, worth it to apply to art prizes to kind of gain your ethos as an artist but I also think that you know artists struggle a lot with being really confident in their work and I think that it's really important to build that confidence and sometimes a little validation from some art prizes can help with that um yeah can help with that for sure so do you yeah. want to share some of your wins of art prizes so what art prizes have you won I was a shortlist I was a shortlist for the beautiful bizarre art magazine based in Australia like the first art prize I ever entered was like two years ago at Berkeley College of Music where I used to go and I it was like a community art contest and I won first place and that's like when I decided to switch over to painting it was like such a big like it was such a big personal win for me that I was like okay yeah I'm, I can do this I can do this full time you know and yeah, but the VAO was the first art prize, the re the first real art prize that I've won. So I, I think that also understanding the way that, you know, competitions work, you're going to get a lot more no's than you are yeses. And that's just kind of something that you have to accept, you know, that's kind of learning how to deal with re like rejection is very important to this process. Um can't dwell on them too much it's kind of like auditioning for stuff like when I was a musical theater major you know well I think that like it definitely helped like being being in musical theater definitely helped me deal with like the rejection of the art prizes and art community you know sometimes uh it like toughens your skin I think you have to have tough skin to enter anything but and I think that's also why it's really important to enter art prizes is because it kind of toughens your skin a bit Tell us a little bit about your experience in playing for the VAO and obviously being our overall winner. My experience was really great. I think the VAO was the most formative thing in my like budding career so far. I, I had entered this competition because I found it on Instagram randomly and it was 24 hours, I think, or something like that. I think it was 24 hours before phase three, the final phase was closing. It was late summer. I wasn't going to apply, but then I saw they had, you know, 
a discount for younger people. And I was like, perfect. It was, you know, I entered it and I just kind of wrote it out, uh, you know, over the course of the months I was long listed and then I was shortlisted and then I was a finalist and me and my family kept like, you know, checking all the entries and stuff like that. Um, and then when I, you know, when I was a finalist, I knew that I was going to go to London for the final exhibition because it was like my first ever, you know, finalist situation. Um, I'm so glad that I went because not only was I the winner, but I also met this team of like amazing people and that like the, the networking and the, you know, the friends I was able to make in like at the other art fair where we presented our work was that's the stuff that's been like the most, you know, that stuff has carried over more than anything else has. Um, and just the way watching people like take photos of my work while I was standing there and they didn't know I was the artist and oh my god my confidence has been boosted a lot by this by this experience too and I think that I believe in myself a lot more because you know the VAA team was so you know they were so confident in me and that was really heartwarming and you know when I won, we were all in this like dinner and it felt very like community and everyone was hugging each other. And, you know, I was really sad to leave London after that experience. I was like, dang, I really like the art community here. But, um, you know, through winning the VAO, I was able to, you know, I'm able to do the mentor program, the momentum program through VAA. Um, and I've got all of these resources now, like winning this prize kind of like opened me in, up into the VAA world, which is also like has been super beneficial for like learning art business stuff. So I think I'd be very actually very lost if I hadn't found VAA because of the resources that I like got through winning the prize. Uh, so I'm thankful about that. It's kind of a butterfly effect when you like, you never know if like you're winning something or it like leads to another connection that leads to another connection, you know? So last question, yeah. what is next for you? Yeah, yeah. To come? Right now I'm focusing really on getting like gallery ready by, you know, I'm working really closely with Shirley Ann. She's helping me get gallery ready and I'm kind of churning out a bunch of work right now, kind of developing my creative voice because I'm still 21. So I have a lot of freedom right now to explore in my style and my ideas. Uh, but I, you know, I want to really like start pitching to galleries um, in the next coming years and uh, hopefully, you know, get a master's in fine arts. And I'm excited to finish college too, because I, I want the degree. I mean, I'm excited that I'm working towards a BFA degree, but I'm really excited for like after college and being able to start really working in the field. I think just like do it. I think that's, I think that's like the most cheesy thing to say, but just do it. I think the most important thing in being an artist is believing in your own abilities. And if you're confident in your stuff, and your abilities and who you are as an artist, then everyone else will, you know, believe in you too. So I think it's very important to to kind of find that confidence and and run with it.